Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. We're doing that. 2016-17 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. It's a four box, a third of a case break. Pick your team number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's the fresh case right there. And here are the players involved right here. The players involved. Number seven. There it is. Jeremy 33 with Last Spot Mojo, Sacramento Kings. Good luck. All right, so let's pop this open, right? This is Optic Basketball. There we go. I think this is our last case. I didn't. I thought we had two more cases, but I think we just have this one more case left. I didn't see the other one. Maybe we send it back. I have no idea what we did, or maybe I just don't know how to count. <laughs> I don't know. Try it, Arthur. It might get weird, but give it a shot. All right, we'll slide these over right here. So this will be stack one. This is stack two. That's stack three. On the die, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be doing this side right here. This side we will do maybe tonight. All right, just to refresh your memories, one auto per box on average, plus a bunch of parallels. Um, I don't think, and, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we saw, because we've done a couple cases of this, I don't think we saw any hot boxes. I don't think, I don't think hot boxes exist in, in basketball. I know there were um, hot boxes in baseball, and uh, I believe there was one in football as well. So we did not know someone in basketball. All right, good luck everybody. Uh, I'm not sure, Dalton. You can check jazbeeshobbyland.com and let me know. But as of when I just, just before I started this break, they were still there. So basketball playoffs have just started. The Bulls have taken a 2-0 lead over the Celtics. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen, but but there you have it. So what do we think, folks? Give me your opinion on the basketball playoffs. In the uh, in the early early couple of games that we've seen so far, who looks good? Who looks bad? Who can upset? Who's not gonna? Who's gonna get upset? Let me know your thoughts. Playoffs in full swing. Uh, National Treasures basketball, unfortunately, was gonna come out in two weeks, but we're gonna have to wait one more week. It'll come out in the first Wednesday of May. Release date for National Treasures basketball. Um, first Wednesday of May, which is probably a good thing because uh, just have an extra extra time to save up now. <laughs> all right, there's DeAndre Jordan. And all cards ship in this. So everything you see here will ship. We got Goran Dragic, Marquise Chris, Anthony Davis All-Stars. Did I miss any numbered cards here? Sometimes I... Well, everything ships. So if I miss something, I, A, I apologize. B, everything will ship. You'll get it. There's Frank Kaminsky. Frank the Tank for the Hornets. 162 out of 199. That will go to Charlotte for Arthur. Torian Prince for the Atlanta Hawks. Playoff team, 76 out of 199. 
for the for Vic and the Hawks. Haven't seen our auto yet. Nice red Chris Dunn. Five out of ninety nine for the Timberwolves. The rookies set. Not too many players on that one. Uh, Ryan K with that. Elite series John Wall. Ben McLemore. Your autograph. Wow, your autograph is Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. Hall Dominator. Houston Rockets. Ryan K with that one. Nice. That's one out of fifty. I was going to say, there's usually one vet auto per case, and there it is. Or actually, just one old school guy and then a vet auto. So we can still hunt for one more, but that's a nice start. Blue Chris Paul for Ronbo. Ronbo. 8 out of 49 on that. Uh, let's see, moving on. Just looking for parallels now. DeAndre Bembry, 6 out of 99. I don't think I saw any Ben Simmonses either, right? Even Ben Simmons base cards can can go for a decent amount on the bay. Shaq O'Neal. And that is dad. There's DeAndre Bembry right here. Nice start. Let me sleeve these guys up. Um, John Okray saying... Surprised the Bucks took a game from Toronto on the road. Bucks could be a pretty surprising team, I feel like. Dalton, Dalton says Isaiah Thomas either goes home on Wednesday and gets closure and then comes back with a vengeance, or the Bulls sweep one or the other. Yeah, I do too. Dalton, Dalton loves the look of Optic as well. Yeah, I think uh, we got the other two thirds of the case in the store right now. We can do all this tonight if you'd like. And at four box breaks, the price point is nice, and this break only takes about 20 minutes or so. So the break is pretty short. About how long it takes me to do an honors break. We've got one team left in honors football, folks, Rams. I don't see any orders coming in, so I know the Rams have not been sold yet. Let's get it done. Um, dude, Madden Mobile says, Cavs over the Warriors 4-3. Warriors blow another 3-1 lead. Well... We're not quite at the finals yet. They might not even be in there. Trivia. Uh, the same two teams have not met each other three times in a row in the NBA Finals ever. So the possibility of the Cavs even meeting the Warriors again uh, is pretty slim. One or the other, or both, may not make it. Booney, of course, says I'm still picking my Cavs to win it all. I like the Cavs. I was born in Northeast Ohio, so I have... A soft spot in my heart for Cleveland sports, so I wouldn't would not mind seeing the Cavs win another one. And Booney also thinks that the that Utah will knock off the Clippers, even without Rudy Gobert. Maybe. I think that game's happening right now, isn't it? What's the score on that game? That game's happening as we speak. And it's in the third quarter right now. Clippers are up by five. Claude Ninja. Jason, it, uh, it says on the front page, uh, Thursday or Friday, I think. All right, next box. There's Rudy Gobert. And there's Bradley Beal for the Wizards. One, two, three, ABC out of 199. Rick Hunt with the Wizards. Stanley Johnson, Pistons. That'll go to Arthur. 37 out of 49 on that one, Arthur. Nice low number. There's Joe Johnson who made a big shot. There's Isaiah Thomas, 18 out of 199. Nice one for the Celtics. That'll go to Jeremy, 33. Celtics down two games to the Bulls, which is crazy. Down to Rondo and the Bulls. Nice Chris Dunn. I'll set these aside too because there are not very many of those in the set. 
There's Isaiah Thomas again. And Monta Ellis for the Pacers. Gordon Hayward for the Jazz. And your autograph is Kay Felder. Speaking of the Cavs, nice rookie auto for Ryan Kay and the Cavaliers. Oh, is that why you got him, Arthur? I was like, I was wondering, why did Arthur get the Pistons? There's Monta Ellis. Stanley Johnson went to Arizona, U of A. 81 out of 99, Monta Ellis, Pacers. That'll go to Casey. There's John Wall, Lou Williams. Kobe. And Serge Baca in the back. All right, that was your second box. All right, so Kay Felder was your uh, auto. Booney says one team that could beat Golden State is the Rockets. San Antonio doesn't have enough firepower to do it. Yeah, the Rockets, well, I, I first off, I think, I think Mike D'Antoni deserves a little credit, right? He's really he's really unlocked the potential. Um, he's really unlocked the potential of uh, of of the entire Rockets team, and um, and so I think that uh, you know I think Mike D'Antoni deserves, deserves some credit because I think when he was with the Lakers, everyone was knocking Mike D'Antoni, and I was saying, well, he's not a bad coach. It's just that we have bad personnel for a guy like Mike D'Antoni. <laughs> um, then it was true. It didn't work out, you know? So that was a failed experiment, Mike D'Antoni. But you have a team that could run Mike D'Antoni's offense, and then you see uh, what the Rockets are doing right now. I think, um, and that's why I like you know that's why, that's why I think Mike D'Antoni deserves a little a little bit of vindication oh nice and, Andrew I went to I went to college at UC San Diego well I don't know if James Harden stayed in Oklahoma well I don't know would you would you get would you get the most out of James Harden because he'd have to come off the bench he didn't want to and it took him a number of years to, to grow into the player he is today. And I think that re that required a lot of just playing a lot of minutes. Well, yeah, Mike D'Antoni of the Suns too. I mean, he's, he's one of those coaches, you know, there are certain coaches where he can take any team and make them great. And that's fine. That's a, that's a particular kind of coach, you know? There are certain there are certain coaches that need a certain kind of personnel, uh, and they don't even have to be superstars, but a certain kind of personnel to to run to run the offense. Dan Tony is one of, one of, one of those kind of uh, one of those kind of guys, I think. Uh, there's Jimmy Butler who's been balling out with the Bulls, six out of ninety nine. Jeremy thirty three. Champ is here, Larry Bird. Goran Dragic, Damon Lillard Refractor, those aren't numbered. Kyrie Refractor, Nikola Mirotic, and for the Sixers, Dario Saric. I haven't seen any Ben Simmonses yet, but there's Dario Saric. Not numbered for the Sixers. They uh, That one goes to Mike Koontz in the 76ers. If I missed any, Mike, they'll still be, uh, they'll still be shipped to you. Obviously, everything ships in this. There's DeAndre Jordan orange for Ron Bow. 176 out of 199, Ron. There's Paul Zipser. Played like 20 minutes today, I think. In a playoff game? Is that numbered? No. For the Kings, Skull, 142 out of 199. Jeremy, 33 with the Kings. 
And Red Anthony Davis. 70 out of 99. The Brow going to the Pelicans. That'll be Jeremy 33. Oh, did I miss a Ben Simmons? In this in this box? Come on, man. I hate it when I do that. Well, right by it. In this box? There was a Jaleel Okafor. Um, I'll go through it again. I, I I don't see it in the most recent stack. I'll go through. I'll go through it again. Mike Koontz, I'll go through it again. If there's any Ben Simmons, I'll I'll find it. All right, last box coming up, and then I see an order coming in. Is that the honors order that we were waiting for? Let's refresh the page. Nope, on, it's still there. Honors Rams are still there. We're Rams away from a break. Dalton says if he's the if if James Harden Oh Eddie Eddie and Jeremy 33 said they didn't see it. Maybe you're thinking of that Jaleel Okafor, Darren. But see Dalton's saying if James Harden was the player he is now and, and stayed in OKC, they'd have like three championships. Well, I, I guess I'm saying um I guess what I'm suggesting is that it's kind of a moot point because I don't think he would be the player he is now. If he stayed, if he stayed in OKC, but, but that being said, yeah, Durant, Westbrook, Harden, uh, yeah, I could see like what. Well, there's Baron Ben Simmons right there. Um, I can see at least like three, three or four finals appearances, right, or Western Conference Finals appearances. And out of the, out of all that, yeah, two rings. That doesn't sound out of the question, you know. Maybe they win one, they're out one year, and then they go back the next something, something like. That. I don't think they win it consecutively, but West is too good for that. But yeah, I could see, I could see two rings there in a span of like what four or five years. Two rings that sounds reasonable, even without even with James Harden, you know, coming off the bench or something like that. But I wonder if Westbrook would be the player that he is if Harden stayed. You know, maybe, maybe they eat into each other's development. And Durant's too. I don't know. It's kind of weird to say. I, I like. I do like all of these shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Like, because you, people wonder. But hey, even if Durant. Westbrook and Harden didn't become as individually as good as they are. Imagine them playing like a team, like just gelling together and just playing unselfish basketball. Man, that would be crazy. With the right coach, that team. All right. I think coaching was part of the problem. Malik Beasley, Nuggets, 157 out of 199. Josh with that one. See, is that, is that a green parallel or no? That's just a regular one. And Diamond Stone for Ronbo. Look at this, Arthur. Ronbo getting getting autos out of here. Clippers. Ronbo. There's AI, the answer. And there's gold, Kobe Bryant. Four out of ten. Nice. That'll go to my team, the Lakers. Lee with that one. Jeremy Lamb, 69. Oh, Arthur's like, unreal. Jeremy Lamb, 62 out of 199. Hornets, that'll go to Arthur. I don't know. All you get, are so far just parallels for you, Arthur? Ron Bo and Ron pretends like he doesn't hit, huh, Arthur? Ron's watching this video tomorrow morning and be like, hey, hey, hey. 94 out of 99, Pau Gasol, Spurs edition. 
going to Ryan K. There's Antetokounmpo and the Bullish Bucks. We already got the auto. There's Ben Simmons. We'll set that aside. I think just that base card, Mike Coons, can go for like 20 bucks. Russell Westbrook. We're just talking about him. 72 out of 99. Dolan saying, yeah, the Westbrook also wouldn't have that triple-double record if all, if all those guys were intact. But would he trade that for rings? Maybe. Probably. Nikola Jokic, also a solid season for him. And that's it, folks. Let me sleeve all of these up. That was Donruss Optic Basketball. Number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Just a, just a third of a case. And we have two-thirds of the case left. So if you go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, you can pick up teams in either third of the case. So get that going. Thanks very much, everyone. This is Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.